Hey, I'm Scott Kubo, and I made a video showing how with the release of software version 9, Tesla Autopilot was able to take tight curves like this uh, uh, cloverleaf interchange that it wasn't able to before. However, it did go a lot slower than a normal human driver, but with a recent uh, update, I felt like it's uh, actually improved and uh, goes faster. So I wanted to test that out. Um, first, let's recap uh, the previous version that I had tested, which was uh, version 9 2018.42.3, and that was released in the beginning of November uh, 2018. And you can see it slows down to the speed limit, and it's handling the curve really smoothly, but it's going a lot slower than what most human drivers do. And I tend not to use the autopilot in these situations because drivers behind uh, you get really annoyed because the car is going so slow. Now in California, the signs posted on these uh, curves are called advisory speeds. You can't get a citation solely for going faster than the uh, posted advisory speed. Now here's my test of version 2018.48.12. Okay, we're approaching the uh, exit. And navigate on autopilot signaling and taking that exit. Here comes a 25 mile per hour turn, or about 40 kilometers an hour. Last time, I think it went about the speed limit. And looks like it's going a little faster here. There we go. Going up to almost about uh, 30 miles per hour, or 48 kilometers an hour. Not bad. Still feels a bit cautious compared to most crazy Southern California drivers, but uh, a little more normal, actually. Uh, not bad at all, and that was pretty smooth. Uh, merging here. I wish it would signal. It doesn't really signal when it merges, but that was pretty good. Not bad at all. Now let's go on to this 20 mile per hour or 32 kilometer an hour um, curved off ramp. And this really was the curve of death because in uh, version 8 of the Tesla Autopilot software, the car was unable to handle the turn and would have ran off the road if I hadn't taken over. Ooh, looks really tight. Not going to make it. Got to take over. Then with the update to software version 9 in November, you can see the car can take uh, this curve pretty well, but it goes a lot slower than uh, most human drivers. A lot of people will go uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour or 15 to 25 kilometers an hour faster than the posted uh, speed advisory. Uh, you can see in the uh, display there, there's a car behind me that's uh, tailgating me, probably pretty annoyed. And now let's see how Autopilot handles the same curve at version 2018.48.12, which was released about a month and a half later. This is version 2018.48. And this has been an update to the initial version of version 9 autopilot and navigate on autopilot about a month ago approaching the 20 mile per hour exit approaching the exit taking the exit and signaling on its own now we're approaching the 20 mile per hour curve or about 32 kilometers an hour slowing down here going pretty slow looks like all the way down to 30 miles per hour or about uh, 48, maybe 45 kilometers an hour there. A little faster than last time, still pretty cautious, but better. Here we go. Not quite grandma slow. It definitely feels like uh, it, there's an improvement, and that's great. Um, incremental improvements, not bad. Um, just better by better each time with each update. Love it. So putting both versions uh, side by side, here's the 25 mile per hour or 40 kilometer an hour curve. And you can see in both versions it enters the curve about the speed limit. Uh, but uh, in the older version, it kind of stays there. Whereas in version 2018.48, it goes about four miles per hour or uh, 6.5 kilometers an hour faster. Now that doesn't seem like a lot, 
but it sure, certainly feels a little more normal. Here's the 20 mile per hour or 32 kilometer an hour curve, and you can see it enters at about the same speed. Uh, but again, with the newer version 2018.48, it's able to go about four miles per hour or 6.5 kilometers an hour faster. Now this is a small incremental improvement, but just a little faster, and it'll feel uh, like it's able to take this curve at normal uh, human driver speed. And one of the things that uh, tipped me over into uh, eventually getting a Tesla was the potential for the car to get better uh, month by month by over-the-air software updates, and it's, uh, it's really cool. As a reminder, I'm driving a Tesla Model 3, and this is the enhanced autopilot uh, feature, which in the United States is a $5,000 add-on. In the UK and uh, in most of Europe, it's about 5,000 pounds or 5,000 euros, give or take. And I believe the autopilot feature costs about uh, $7,000 uh, in Australia. Well, I hope you found this uh, video enjoyable and useful. If you did, give it a like. If you want to see what videos are coming out next, uh, please subscribe. If you happen to be watching on your mobile device, this video is available in 4K resolution, so check it out on your uh, desktop or laptop. You can see a lot more detail. And if you found my videos helpful in your decision to uh, purchase a Tesla, click on the link here and learn how you can get uh, six uh, months of free supercharging. And let me know in the comments what uh, videos you'd like me uh, to make next. As always, I've enjoyed having you along for a drive. Have a really great day and see you next time.